what's up everyone welcome back to my channel welcome back to my very first episode of 2024 for ENM TV and today we're going to open or review the figurized standard mask rider deno so before we start guys don't forget to like share and subscribe here on my channel it's ENM TV and also don't forget to hit that notification bell that you can see on this video below so sit back relax and enjoy have a nice match. And here we are, we've got the figurized Kamen Rider Deno. So this is my very first figurized line of kit. And I would say this would be a fantastic kit or additional to my new line of figurized. Actually, I love Kamen Rider and specifically I love Deno because I love the plot and the storyline of this specific protagonist of the series of Kamen Rider Deno so for its look we have a nice representation of kit of Deno from it, comparing to its uh, series so this part of its Deno driver we have a sticker included here. Most of the colored parts are stickers and especially on this part as well. On the black part. And so far, uh, this is the last stickers that I have put but maybe next time I will gonna paint that part because it's not quite good enough or I can't see anything good on the sticker. Look at that one. So we don't have this nice uh, red stickers for its shoulder. The separation of plastics are good. So we have a nice gold injected plastic here. And it separates well. So if you have this one, actually this part is a sticker. So if you have a brown marker, you can uh, use this and panel line this part and I use a green Gundam marker on its forehead aside from that we have a gold or I should say it's a silver plastic here actually it's not quite good enough because uh, we have some numb marks if you can see on this part this is not quite good but if you can repaint on those parts it won't be noticeable and then we have a nice matte black for the black parts for the white part we have a nice pearl white here and lastly we have this transparent red for its eye visor For the articulation of this kit, so first we have a ball joint on its head or double ball joint connected to his helmet and here on its torso. So just move it like that forward. Then we've got the back for uh, no minimal or just a minimal movement from the back, from the side, another side, and we can rotate it around like that but it will uh, this part would clash on the color part of then O's uh, rotation so be careful so you won't scratch the silver parts and then next we have this uh, joint or ball joint connecting to its body so we have this movement on that socket here and the ball joint so we can do a 360 degree movement on its shoulder connecting to its torso we have a movement here on the upper part of the hands or arms we have a double joint elbow here and a ball joint here on its hands or manipulators for the waist we've got a backward movement up to that extent going forward like that 
and then we have the side to side movement and it can turn around like that for the waist or for this part we have a movement here like that so this is a clip part clipping to this part of its belt then next we'll just remove this one so we have a movement from its legs connecting to the waist so we have a ball joint here so we have this independent movement for its ball joint here so as you can see there's a movement here then you can move it like that and move it forward like that as well so this was connected by a ball joint and a socket here ball joint and socket and then we have this double knee joint here movement from this side so we have a movement forward backward and then we have some side side movement that's a minimal movement you can do the kicks forward up to that extent and we've got a backward kick up to that extent pretty neat right so that's it for the articulation for the weapons and accessories that we have here so we have a bunch of them so first we've got this stand base for the figure race. this is a standard base for the all of Kamen Rider kits or figure ice kit so we have this one and we have this connecting part for that or this is used for specifically here on this part as you can see we have this peg here connecting on that uh, square peg hole right there so we'll just basically insert that so that we can uh, make a standing pose for the camera rider you know, or specifically for the then camera rider lines and then we have here a attachment base if in case you have some additional Kamen Rider kits you can attach this one so that the base plate are connected to each other then we have some other four transparent parts here I don't know which is which so I'll just attach it here for future uses and then we have this uh, small base here for the uh, effect part of the sword of Deno so we can use it here like that so we can attach it here or here so that we can do the iconic post of Kamen Rider Deno's attack then we have some uh, the sword or the gashat sword of the Kamen Rider Deno so this is the separated parts when it's not in use but it, it, if it is built already it would be like this one and we have some holding hand manipulators so we have both of them so we have left and right manipulator then we have the one pair of fist close fist manipulator we've got the left hand thumbs up manipulator for its iconic post and then we have the holding of the then liner pass manipulator from it from the left side and then we have this parts so that uh, we can make the platform of Kamen Rider Deno so this is the basic helmet of Deno this is from the collar part this will change on the tie part of Kamen Rider Deno so instead of red it would be black this is for the shoulder parts chest and this part if the gashat or the gashat sword is in use we will be replacing this one with that one with this two so i'll show you 
how to make the platform of camera ready then. So for the platform transformation, before we attach all the pieces on this camera rider kit or demo kit, we have to remove all the other parts. So first we have to remove the head. Next we have to remove this part. So we'll just pull it up. Or I should say remove this one first at the back we'll need this one later and then for this one we'll remove this part and like what I say this part as well and another part here again And lastly, we'll be removing this one. So in order to remove this one, I already removed this. Uh, you see there's a space here. So just flip it that way. Be careful so that we won't scratch the plastics. So this one, we don't have any extra parts for this one. So this is... Uh, up to you if you're gonna use this red sticker or the white sticker but for me I'll just use the red sticker already because we have this stickers included for this specific line of Dendo so now we're going to attach this one here and like what I said before we'll be attaching this part that we remove at the back before and then this one here front for the tie parts we have this parts here so this one going here this one wait okay I'll attach it here like that and put it here that way so easy as that and same goes here and lastly we have the helmet part here so that's the platform of Hammond Rider Leno For height comparison, Kamen Rider stands 6 inches tall. So beside on that, we have Shining Gundam. This is an HG Gundam. We have the taller Gundam, which is the Aerial Gundam. And we have the Endergrade RX-782. So as you can see, figure right standard is much bigger or taller than the HG kits. And that's it for our review for today. Thank you for watching guys. I hope you enjoy my review for the figure right standard mask rider deno or cam rider deno from Bandai. So for more kits, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe here on my channel with CNV. And also don't forget to hit that notification bell that you can see on this video below. So thank you for watching guys and have a great day. Goodbye.